All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Makakudash. Double honor to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule impeccably well. And Shalom to the brothers out there pushing this truth and sincerity throughout the four corners of the globe in the sincere hopes of being delivered in these last days. This is the brother Yakanan from the GMS England branch. This will serve as an in-transit edition video. Lord willing, it's edifying unto you brothers out there and a few sisters listening and learning. And um, this video, um, I'm going to entitle get ready to lose it all and uh, and rejoice all right and um, you know I was meditating on this for a few days you know meditating on you know the tribulation and the trials and how you know they're gonna be amplified in these last days and we really have to, you know, be in a mindset of losing everything that you currently possess in this kingdom. All right? That's the mindset we have to be in, man, because, you know, when we go to the book of Matthew, Yahweh Shai said, you know, he that, he that shall save his life shall lose it but he that shall lose his life for my sake shall find it roughly paraphrasing man all right so when you come into this faith you know you come into this truth you know you are called into this truth through the spirit you know you have now begun your journey in denying yourself and being a prisoner of Yahweh Shai. All right, because that's essentially what we are. We are prisoners of Yahweh Shai. We're not here to profit our own cause. We're here solely on a mission to spread the gospel, to spread the truth of Yahweh Shimi Yahweh Shai. And to Lord willing, at the end of it, you know, be delivered. You know, that's why we're here. All right, so we can't ever stray, you know, from our purpose being upon the face of the earth, man. That is the key reason, you know, why Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai have sent forth his prophets in these last days. Okay, is to do that, is to do that work. And it's a blessing to be a part of the ministry and to be chosen Lord willing chosen, you know, at the moment we are called, we will know that we're chosen when we finish the course. All right? But it's a beautiful thing and an honor, you know, to be involved in this ministry and to be carrying out the work that we're doing, man. All right? So we got to be in a mind state of preparing to lose it all because we know it's coming. We know... All right, by the way, things are going, you know, out here in the UK, over there in the land of um, of Babylon, you know, Mystery Babylon the Great. All right, we can see where things are going. And Esau is going to come down hard. He's going to come down with great wrath, pursuant to Revelations 12 and 12, because he knows that he have a short time. All right, so these things are going to happen. Things are going to intensify, man. All right, scenarios are going to present themselves that at the time are going to seem to be, um, you know, detrimental or rather life and death. All right? Because them demons are going to intensify, man. And that's why the scriptures say, through much tribulation shall we enter into the kingdom of Yahweh Shem Shai. But all of these things are expected. We know 
because you know the scriptures say you know seek ye into the book of the Lord and read not one of these shall fail so you know we read the prophecies we understand things are going to get to that point but it's about staying in the spirit and praying unto Yahweh Shem Shai that when these things happen the wisdom, knowledge and understanding that we have gathered in our walk in this journey is going to kick in you know, Isaiah 33 and 6, you know, wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. All right. That's why, you know, these scriptures, you know, are the comfort of men because they comfort us. You know, the words comfort us, man. You know, comfort each other with these words. Okay. And Yahweh Shai is going to be with us and with you even unto the end of the world. All right, so Yahweh Shai is going to be with his elect men. All right, he's going to be, you know, strengthening us along the way. He's going to be helping us, you know, bear, you know, our cross, man. You know, the spiritual cross that we have, you know, when we enter into this faith, man. All right, so again, get ready to lose it all and rejoice, man, because it's a beautiful thing. Because remember, when we go to, um, what, Sirach 2? And I believe it's verse 4. You know, it basically says, you know, when you are put to a lower lower state, um, yeah, take it cheerfully, you know, when you are brought to a lower state. You know, roughly paraphrasing, man. So that is the spirit that we gotta be in. When the Lord, you know, brings you to a lower state, you know, you're going through that fiery child, you're supposed to take that cheerfully. You're supposed to praise, you know, Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai for the experience that you're going to get from that situation. Because the Lord will put you in a situation, but he will also take you out of that same situation. And then you're going to come out stronger. You're going to come out more wiser. Okay. And then it's going to prepare you you know, for the very end. Okay? When he saw drops, you know, the the um the mark, you know, the mark of the beast. And then the hour of temptation comes upon the world, man. Alright? All of these events, you know, that we go through, you know, the trials and tribulations, it's all building us up, you know, for that main climax, man. That main persecution, that main that main um you know, demonization that's going to take place. This is what Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai is strengthening us for, man. This is what he's preparing us for. So this is a time to rejoice, man. You know, when all these things, you know, you know, start happening to us, which, you know, they're already happening. You know, brothers are going through things. You know, things are happening. Brothers are going to lose jobs. Brothers are going to you know, be in situations where, you know, they might have to stay with another brother, you know, because they can't afford to pay their rent. You know, all of these things are going to present themselves, man. But no matter what happens, Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai Hashem Kardash is going to be with his elect men, strengthening us and guiding us along the way, man. All right. So this is a time to rejoice. You know, this is a time, you know, to praise Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai Hashem Rakar Kodash. You know, even more so. Because we're on our way out of this place, man. You know? So with that, I'm going to cut it off here. Lord willing, this brief lesson was edifying. And until next time, I'll say Shalom.